Hi everyone, welcome to Motivational Moments. I get butterflies in my stomach at about 10 to 12 because I get so excited about sharing some inspirational tips and techniques and stories in a short bite, five to 10 minutes. And I think it's important that we have something to look forward to every week, whether it's something you tune into my page for motivational moments, or you do something on a regular basis with another speaker or another mentor or a preacher, whatever it is. It's so important that we continue to fill our minds and our hearts with positive, uplifting messages and hope and all those good things. The reason why I wanted to talk about springing forward is because obviously we just did that, didn't we? And so there's a lot of meaning behind it. When we spring forward, it's like we're going on another journey, taking another path. Or we may just be looking at, but think about how the weather changes as well. Because, you know, we move out of the winter months, maybe a little cold, dreary. And then we had COVID. We still have COVID. But we have something to look forward to in the spring because the weather gets better. You feel better. You're outside more. The sun is shining. So it's a really good reflective time. Where we are, where we came from, I will tell you what I've learned, what I've experienced, and what I practice is that we do need to um, understand and be compassionate about where we are in life. Because we are where we are, we've made, and that's okay. And if we make mistakes along the way, and that those mistakes lead us into a different path, too, because we'll look back on that path and say, ah, I understand now why that happened. I understand why I went in this direction instead of going in that direction. I think it's important that we try to live regret-free, worry-free, and to be gentler on ourselves. I think hold us back from being our truth. to release that regret or worry or anxiety or second-guessing ourselves on um, mis mistakes or second-guessing ourselves on decisions that we make, that we're going to be a lot happier and healthier and to be able to continue to spring forward in our lives. I think one of the exercises that is very helpful is in journaling. And for those that do journaling, uh, you may want to do an exercise in living a more regret-free life, releasing the path of um, worrying about what decisions we may have made and what the outcomes uh, that have come out of that. And to just say, hey, you know, I'm a work in progress with me. I'm okay. For a while, beating yourself up about. I, wish I hadn't said that. I wish I hadn't written that email. I wish I hadn't responded that way. Let it go. But one way to let it go is to write it down, and to write it down like in a journal, and to get those emotions out on paper. Write down the experience. And then think of something positive that has come out of that experience. What did you learn? Can you reflect back and say, hey, yep, I did that. I may regret it, but you know what? I'm a better person now. I understand better about that situation or that person or the change or the experience that I had. Everything is a learning experience. 
And if we stop learning, we die, right? Dad, who's going to be 96 years old, he's amazing. He is always learning and in so many different ways, gaining knowledge in his photography. Um, he's become more passionate as a father and as a grandfather. Um, he's just, again, a work of I thought about what other tips that I can share with you in this field of springing forward, living free, and And I do everything about affirmations. I have been in the self-help industry for five years. I've been on stages. I've traveled the country. I've got products books, CDs, DVDs, all that. And I got to tell you, it's a process. And I, what I've learned the most and what I practice the most all through these years is that we have to think right, we have to talk right, and we have to act right. And if we can get those three things down, work on that, that's the best we can do. But it all starts on what we think about and also what we say to ourselves and others. So I'm a big believer on writing down affirmations and practicing them on a daily basis. Write affirmations on any subject or any area of your life that you want improvement. And affirmations need to be in the present tense because the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the past, present, or future. So you want to do an affirmation in the present tense, and the subconscious mind will follow along, assuming that you're already there. So anyway, I... Affirmations that were inspired that came to me uh, when I was thinking about this topic, and I'm going to be using forward as I spring forward and try to live a little bit. Uh, let me read them to you and I hope they help you as well. And if you want, I can post this on the page afterwards if you don't get a chance to write them down. Also, if um, you want anybody else to review this broadcast, it's on my YouTube channel, or it will be this afternoon, uh, YouTube, I guess Deb Cottle, and you could hear that or on the page um, after after it's done. Okay, let me give you the five affirmations that I think might be of help to you as you spring forward. Okay, number one, I release the past and live regret-free. Number two, I move forward in life with less stress and more ease. Isn't that what it's all about? I am enough. Number four, I attract good people and positive experience into my life. And the final one, new opportunity that enrich my personal and professional growth. Let me know how you and your affirmations that you want. always learning growing and I give many thanks to all of you that are in our special group and I want to do a shout out to my cousin Jamie Kokel who is saying and she has recently attracted some really great quality women to our group and Janie I love you talk to you soon See you next week. Affirmations, ease and less stress. Take care. Bye.